Hey everyone, Eric, KJ4YZI here. And this weekend I decided to set up a little bit of gear and exercise my equipment. Now this is the purpose of field day, essentially, is to get everybody out there and exercise their stuff. So, I figured I would go into my go kit. I haven't used it in a while and I wanted to make sure, you know, I had all the cables. I've borrowed stuff out of it and played with it and, you know, I wanted to make sure I have everything set up ready to go. So I have my 7 and 6 which is what's in my go kit now. I do have the uh, X5105 that uh, my QRP rig, but I don't have it in the bag at the moment. So I had the 706, my Wolfie Link, and I just decided to fire up the, the laptop that goes in my go bag here. And I wanted to check out uh, some wind link, make sure I can you know do this on HF, it's working. I got it connected to the antenna outside, uh, but I do have my BioNO sitting back there. Uh, so that you know I know my battery is charged and working so what I did right here let me try to zoom in show you what I did so I was on uh, 30 meters here it's about I don't know what time it is 4 o'clock and uh, I connected to the AJ4FW 30 meter link on wind link you can see here um, I did download or I was going to until I moved the screen and the computer shut off so uh, I put it in sleep mode by accident. So you can see here I have a couple uh, messages here on WinLink from uh, previous. I have to check out what they are. But I have this running with my Wolfie Link. I made a video on this. This is a sound card interface that uh, gentleman makes that uh, you know connects sound. It's like a signal link, but it does sound card level from your computer to the com you know to the radio to key it and. Uh, you know, pass audio, and you can see it's keying my radio right now, so I was in the middle of a session here on 30 meters before I interrupted it. I did it on Bluetooth, you know, with a TNC on VHF, but it's always good to have this uh, working on HF, and, uh, you know, different bands will operate during the day differently, it just so happens I have a good propagation, a good gateway to, uh, on 30 meters right now to this station, so let's check out some other things. So when you're doing this on HF, and I might have mentioned this before in my video doing this, but I just figured, you know, playing with it on the weekend, and I'll show you what I'm doing. A little blog type action. So you want to make sure your audio levels are set up when you're doing HF. That's very important. You're not, uh, in my case, I'm not using a TNC. So you want to make sure you're not overdriving the radio. You want to make sure you're not overdriving the sound card on the computer because that'll distort the, uh, distort the, the message you know, that you're getting. Let's see. Okay, see, so I got the waterfall here, and the constellation here will show you how your signal looks and all that. So, let me see if I could, I'm just going to do it again and hit start because the last one got interrupted. There you go, here's another one that I decided to pick up on 30 meters. This is a KB3 PC wide wind link. It's on 30 meters. Nice signal. Over an S9. And it said that station was uh, 1,100 miles, I believe. So just to exercise you know, my equipment and keep myself up to date and remembering, because there's a few things that I forgot about the settings on this radio, forgot about the setup on my computer. So you don't want to be you know, at that moment in the field when you don't remember how to interface or how to connect. But uh, you know, uh, even when they say the bands are dead, I'm still having no problem sending emails over HF. 706 is a good rig. 706, you know, this is not the Mark 2G. A lot of you know what the 706 is. And, uh, you know, it's got 2 meters as well, up to 10 watts, so I can't use this for a VHF packet, although I'll have to use the mobile-linked uh, Bluetooth TNC, the easiest way for me. Uh, without, because you can't do it really sound card interface on two meters, it looks for a TNC to connect to it. So uh, you can see here I have a couple messages that look like they're downloading from a couple uh, emails before. All right, so it's it says I have three messages. It's ending the the transmission now. So session time was three minutes fifty four seconds, and uh, there we go. CW ending. All right, let's see. It's 
go up here trying to do the same time. I can't I'm not screen casting on this uh, <clears throat> computer here. This is a slower one. It's for my uh, go kit. So yeah, I have uh, looks like Jerry K4WOF sent an email. That was uh, when I was checking in to the uh, Monday night. Uh, we take check-ins for WinLink as well on our net and address them all on Monday night on the net. And it looks like I got I got somebody here. Look at that. Love your videos. Keep it up. Rusty, WB4BSD sent me a WinLink email. And you can as well, without flooding my inbox, if you would like to send an email and just a fan mail, I, I won't be going through these and, re, you know, it takes a long time to do this on HF. But if you want to send an email to test, please do it at kj4yzi at winlink.org. And you can, you know, if there's something that I can reply to, I will. Uh, but this isn't my main email, so, you know, you got to keep in mind this is all going to go over HF uh, or VHF. But if you would like to do that, you can go ahead and send an email like this guy did. Just test it. Get familiar with it. Try it out experiment if you want to make sure you got it send me an email hey did this come through and I'll see if I can respond to it so let me show you a couple other things that I added to my go kit and yes my desk is a mess paid no attention to what you see here but I had a friend that watches my videos online he offered his name is Eric and he offered to send me a few things that I could add to my go kit and I thought that was very nice I want to thank him I don't know if he wanted me to address his name or call but he knows who he is I've thanked him thank you very much couple things that he had that he said didn't really get used and I, I thought I'd share them with you so I cool thing he sent me was he has a solar a solar battery charger put four double A's or triple A's in here and it's solar as well as USB so if I want to charge you know he sent me a bunch of these uh, batteries here these are double A and triple A and these are good for various things I have my uh, let's see if I look up here in my closet of goodies Remember this, I got my little digital modem. That I haven't used in a while, but that takes batteries and some other stuff. So I got a way to charge those. Another cool thing that was in this box was a USB hand dynamo crank. Look at this. You plug something in USB, right? And of course, it would take a little while, but in the event that you needed it, <laughs> you, could, you could charge like this. And I can tell you what, if, if I'm out in the field and I got a something like a, a phone or even electronic cigarette for you vapors like me out there you got to have your vape right if it comes down to it and you need your nicotine <laughs> you can go cranking away and vape you know it's a cool thing i like that and here i got some adapters to go like from you know triple a to double a or, uh, like for instance here you put a triple a battery in here makes it a double a you know pretty cool um and also for like D cells, because who wants to carry a bunch of D cells around? So you could actually imitate a D cell with something like this using several batteries in there. That would imitate, um, you know, a D cell. So a bunch of adapters here, pretty cool stuff. Um, USB light LED would draw hardly anything. So I could use this. I have a bunch of these battery banks that I actually threw a few on Facebook like this. Uh, these are great. One of these is going in my go kit. But look, I got a light. So when I'm out there in the field, um, I could power this, you know, to see my gear and look in my bag and stuff if it's nighttime and camping out. Doesn't draw really anything. Runs on a battery bank, you know. Uh, or you could get USB power with this. I imagine you put the batteries in here and you could charge or have USB output for this. So pretty cool. And then uh, let's see. We have, when you get hot, you have it. <laughs> this is cool. Let's see. USB fan, man. That thing blows out a little bit of air. Causes a little bit of noise on VHF, but, you know, pretty fun stuff. So, of course, uh, for the vehicle. So I have two more outlets for USB. And these apparently are lights. I didn't know. I had to ask them. I said, what is that? So, they're lights. LED. They draw, like, pretty much nothing. So... He suggested for my hurricane slash go kit, and that um, would be pretty cool because, you know, when it comes down to it, you need a little bit of light instead of having a whole great big elaborate setup, I can plug these in one of these battery banks I have and have light uh, hurricane. Because you know, if you're involved in a hurricane, you know that you're going to lose power and you're going to have no light. You're going to have candles and everything else. So stay cool in summer in Florida when a hurricane hits and have plenty of light with your USB light and stuff. So 
pretty cool. Um, he sent me those. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, that was uh, thoughtful. Doesn't mean everybody has to go sending me stuff, so please calm down. <laughs> I don't need a bunch of boxes in the P.O. box, but uh, thank you very much. So, you know, as I'm playing with my Go Kit today and keeping myself up, you know, up to date and exercised on this, I throw a few more toys in the Go Kit. You know, exercising your equipment, a quick video here just to show you that that's what I'm doing. You know, I got my stuff all over the desk here. I got <laughs> the antennas out of my Go Kit. I got the Go Kit on the ground here. I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, refresh myself so that when I'm ready to use it and, uh, you know, ready to make sure that it works, I, I remember what I'm doing. And uh, so far, this is the first time that I've done it, I think, with the 706 uh, Winlink HF. I don't think I've done it with this one yet. I did use the 450 and some other ones, but that is what's in my Go Kit there. I got that used from somebody online. It was a great radio. I love it. And uh, so... More videos on the way. Just wanted to uh, document what I was doing here on Winlink on HF with my Wolfie Link. Check out the video on the Wolfie Link. And 7.3, uh, KJ4YZI.